This week, devastating images from the U.S. border made headlines and sparked pushback, raising questions about how the most gut-wrenching pictures should be used in today's media landscape. Adam has more, but before we start, please note that this segment includes upsetting imagery. The images are almost too painful to look at. A man and child dead face down in the Rio Grande, her small arm still wrapped around his neck. Every time it comes up, I just, I have to look away. Still, over the past few days, those photos have been hard to avoid, with multiple outlets saying the images of Oscar Alberto Martinez Ramirez and his 23-month-old daughter, Valeria, capture the human cost behind the immigration debate. The family grew desperate after being forced to wait, seeking asylum at a legal port of entry. There is hope that this incredibly upsetting image will be a tipping point. That picture says a lot. But not everyone thought it was handled sensitively. After after this AP tweet, the National Association of Hispanic Journalists protested, saying followers of AP Twitter did not have a choice on whether they wanted to view the photograph. The presentation is both insensitive and disrespectful. Meanwhile, after some New York Times readers questioned its use of the photo, the paper explained its thinking, saying after a two-hour conversation, editors decided it bore witness to something bigger than just the image itself. Andrew, I was thinking we've, we've become a nerd to some of these things. And also, when's the, when these images come out, usually the first reference, you know, CNN or somebody said, we warn you, this is graphic. But I came kind of late into that on whatever night that was, Monday or Tuesday. I'd been out and I came in and I thought, oh, it was the first time I saw it. I thought, gee, I didn't get any warning about that. And I, at first I was kind of dismissive of what the National Association of Hispanic Journalists said. And I thought, you know, they're right. I mean, just tweeting something out and it just ends up in your feed, that, that's not right. Although Twitter did kind of change it. So if you hit the, the message, they said, we warn you. But that was Twitter after the fact. Well, and their main complaint, I think the NAHJ, was that it was on Twitter and that no one yeah. had that option. I think there's an assumption when you're a consumer of news that someone is going to be exercising editorial judgment and that if they show a photo like that, there's a reasoning behind mm -hmm. it, as the Times kind of explained. And, you you know, I, I don't think that you can blanketly say don't show those right. photos. I mean, those photos are, are incredibly yeah. powerful. You know, the, the one from uh, from Vietnam yeah. with the, you know, with napalm. The Syrian the, boy. Right, the Syrian boy. I mean, you can, yeah, you can, you can mark turning points in news stories over history mm -hmm. based on photos that got everybody's attention. So there is good editorial mm -hmm reason to do it but but you want to know there's a reason it's not just kind of coming at you I did see some critiques which said uh, you know you should not show this at all because it dehumanizes the victims uh, the one I'm thinking of is on Twitter it was an advocacy group I think right says Texas said oh, yeah. we're not going to distribute this image we're going to show an image of the family that they have released I actually think that that particular image or the, the, that set of related images, I thought they were incredibly humanizing. Oh, yeah. The fact What's that you see that the father the, the, has pulled his shirt yes. over the girl and that she has his arm around his neck. You see yeah. her shoes. You see she's wearing a diaper. Yeah, exactly. I think for a lot of people who think of the immigration battle as something abstract mm -hmm. and, and purely theoretical, uh, this is the sort of thing that shakes you up. And I think that's exactly what mm -hmm. really good photojournalism should do. Well, I think that there's always room for more sensitivity in the way the media handles material like this. For instance, the photo should not be used in a promo. Coming no. up, no. Yes. we'll do the story behind this yeah. terrible photo. No, please don't. Uh, however, let's keep in mind what we're talking about here. That photo tells the truth. Mm -hmm. And a very important aspect of the truth. I don't understand the mentality of wanting to shy away from or censor the truth. I'm even a little bit skeptical about trigger warnings, although oh, I think yeah. what you did here is yeah. okay. We're telling yeah. you you're going to see some yeah. disturbing images. But if we start shying away from the truth, particularly on an issue like this, we're lost. Mm. The problem is, um, and this is also part of what NAHJ is saying, is that um, uh, American editors make choices about whose death they will show. Yeah. And so coming from the NHJ, they were like, okay, Hispanic people, fine for you to just throw that all around. Um, but they're real clear about white Americans and whether or not they show that. And there have been some studies done um, very clearly uh, delineating that. So that's something to think about. Like, how are we making decisions in these newsrooms all the time like about they what show images? Like Parkland shooting. That's exactly. Or, yeah. yeah. So how are we making these decisions about what gets shown and what doesn't? Um, yes, absolutely, we want to tell the truth. Yes, this has the power to do that. But once it's out there, as we have seen, um, we're n there's no editorial judgment. It's everywhere. And it's, you know, shown 
all the time. I am reminded that if you go to the museum of 9-11, just to illustrate this point about what the studies say, you have to go into a room set aside and they have all kinds of signage that says, all right, when you go in this room, you're going to see the pictures of people leaping from the building. Mm -hmm. But if you remember, while that was going on, they stopped showing that. Yeah. I'm not sure they would stop showing other people. Mm. Just saying. That's something to think about. So in our editorial positions, we have to understand whose who's death are we showing and why. Mm -hmm. Maintaining that we have to show the truth and also warning people because it's not something that you should come in mm -hmm. and just turn on the TV and just see.